Assalamualaikum and hi. So today we are going to do one question from intensive practice 4.2, rationalize the denominator and simplify. So the question that I selected is 5s square root of 3 minus square root of 7 over square root of 3 plus square root of 7. What is the meaning of rationalize denominator? So basically, we do not want square root as part of denominator. And so what is denominator? Is the fraction we have numerator and uh, denominator. So 1 over 3, numerator and denominator. So we want, we do not want square root as part of denominator, but 3 is acceptable. Okay? So how to eliminate the square root here? So before uh, we do this question, so let's review a little bit of what is the factorization of x squared minus y squared. If you still remember, uh, this is form 2 syllabus. It should be x plus y and x minus y. And how do we know if uh, the factorization of x squared minus y squared is x plus y and x minus y? Expand them. So expand means you multiply x times x, it will be x squared. x times negative y will be negative xy. y times uh, y times x will be plus xy. y times negative y will be negative y squared. So these will eliminate each other. So what we have will be x squared minus y squared. So what is so important about this? We, got, we, are, we are going to do, do, to do this because um, if you have a square root 3 for example and square it becomes 3 so there's no more square root if we do that okay so um, we have to find uh, so whenever we have plus here you multiply by minus because x plus y and you have to multiply by x uh, minus y. If you have x minus y, you multiply by x plus y. Okay. So, in this case, our denominator is plus. Uh, plus. So, we put a bracket here. And we multiply by 3 square root of 3 minus square root of 7. So... If we are multiplying with a denominator, we have also to multiply with the numerator. 3 minus square root of 7. Is it possible just to multiply like that? Can we multiply like that? The answer is yes. So because we learn a little bit about, um, not a little bit, we learn uh, when we were, you were in standard 3 or standard 4 that uh, we want to know pecahan setara okay equivalent fraction so you can multiply here with 2 you top multiply a uh, top with 2 so it become 2 over 4 so 1 over 2 is 2 over 4 so as long as you multiply with a constant, we multiply the same number, numerator and denominator, uh, it's all fine. Okay? Alright. So, let's continue with our work here. So, let's simplify the denominator first uh, because we want to see what happened. So, square root of 3 times square root of 3. So, it becomes square root of 3 squared. So, the square root of 3 squared will be 3. So, that is why I didn't write it there. Okay? So, I, I don't want to write down square root of 3, but I will write 3. Okay? And then, you multiply square root of 3 with uh, square root of negative 7, but negative. So, you have minus square root of 3 times square root of 7. And then, 
You multiply here with this, you become because this is positive, this is positive. You have plus square root of three times square root of seven. And then now you multiply square root of seven times square root of seven, uh, but it is positive time negative. Uh, then you have uh, minus seven. Okay, so this negative square root of three times square root of seven plus square root of three times seven will eliminate each other. Okay, so then we have three minus seven will be negative four. But then to apply our knowledge just now, actually we don't have to do this long way. You do not have to multiply. If you know the, that knowledge just now that I mentioned if x plus y times x minus y, it becomes x squared minus y squared. So we just use that knowledge. Then we have to know uh, the, the one that is left, this times this, you have 3 minus 7. Okay? Okay, using this knowledge. This, square root of 3 times square root of 3, become 3. And then 7 square root of 7 times square root of 7 will be 7. Okay, if you understand this. If not, you just try out uh, the way you simplify, you just multiply. Okay, so let's see on our the, uh, numerator. Uh, this one, because there's no pattern. Uh, actually, we have a pattern, but I don't want to burden you so many things to remember. So, just do like what the form 2 doing. You multiply square root of 3 times square root of 3, you have 3. And then, square of 3 times negative square of 7 will be negative square root of 3, negative uh, sort of 7. And then, you have negative square root of 7 times square root of 3 will be negative square root of 7 square root of 3. So, actually, they are the same. Whichever first uh, doesn't mean anything. And now, negative square root of 7 times negative square root of 7, it becomes positive. Positive 7. Okay? So, whenever you have, uh, uh, in this case, it's square, uh, negative square root of 7 times negative times negative square root of 7. So basically negative times negative is positive square root of 7 times square root of 7 will be square root of 7 squared. So it becomes 7. Okay. So now let's uh, simplify further. Okay. So this is negative. This is negative. It will not eliminate each other. Okay. So what we have here. Now we have 3 and 7. 3 plus 7. Can we add that? Yes, because they are both numbers without any algebra. So, it becomes 10. And then, uh, minus 1, minus 1. Because they have the same. This is, we regard the whole thing here as A. Okay, A. So, this is just like something like negative A, negative A. So, it becomes negative 2A. So, negative 2 square root of 3 square root of 7. Okay. And uh, below here, we have negative 4. And then, you have to understand this. If we multiply, is it possible? In some sense, it is possible uh, if we mean just to multiply the number, but it will not eliminate the square root. So, it's still square root, but 3 times 7 will be square root of 21. Okay. Then over negative 4. Is there anything for, uh, other than that that we can do to simplify? Yes, we can factorize. This is the first term. This is second term. Is there any similarity? Yes, that is uh, we can factorize 2. Uh, we factorize 2 become divide by 2 become 5. Divide by 2 become 1. So, do not need write to write 1. 21. Okay. 
n over negative 4 and now we can cut 2 and 4 we have 2 um, and then usually we do not leave negative uh, as part of denominator we just write negative and then 5 minus square root of 21 over 2 still we do not leave it like that uh, if inside the bracket is 1 is positive and 1 is negative so we just multiply them uh, negative times both of them so it become 5 plus oh sorry negative 5 plus square root of 21 over 2 okay so I think Okay, I think that is the simplest way uh, that is possible for you to do it. Okay.